want me to lock it down, but I told her to pass the key You gotta slow it down, girl, you moving too fast for me Nobody did it like this, so they wonder, they asking me If I can slow it down, cause it's coming too fast for me Baby, don't try it, just stop it You should know that I got options Alright, so with me just starting this cut and being in a caloric deficit already, I want to get like a kind of an accurate representation of what my bench max is. So before I get too deep into it, start losing strength, having low energy levels, I'm going to see how much I bench. I'm probably not going to hit a PR, but hopefully it's around like something to what my last max was, which was 355. I'd be happy with anything really over 340, so see what I can get. I be fly like I live in the cockpit Mess around with the money, get drop kicked Only one in the city to pop quick Never cared about being your top 10 Got a house in the hills, can you top this? I came from where them boys do you top this And get crazy around here in my section All of my ops get to step up 225 is usually like a pretty easy judge for me For like how, how heavy I'm gonna be able to go honestly Cause if that shit feels heavy I know I'm probably not gonna hit nothing crazy But that felt pretty light so I'm feeling kinda optimistic a little bit About uh, hitting some heavy sets Nobody did it like this, so they wonder they asking me If I can slow it down, cause it's coming too fast for me I came up from the bottom, they look at me now, they mad at me Yeah, that's just moving really smooth Smooth enough, I'm probably gonna Right now, I'm guessing it's gonna be like 335, 340 It's too fast for me Faster than lightning, I can't close on my eyes too excited. It's the fruit of what you get for trying. Don't be selling no more, I'm just buying. I got two of everything that you buying. Put my boots on and turn to a giant. This is fact, ain't no fictional writing. If I want to, I go right in the hiding. Alright, so that went. I don't know. I feel like I could have got two, but two wouldn't have been a good idea. Definitely one. I feel like was the best option, but I'm probably throwing 335 next. See how that feels. That would probably be as high as I'm gonna go, honestly. But yeah, I'm not not too upset with that. Just considering that I got off creatine and I'm about eight pounds lighter than I was when I was hitting actual heavy numbers with like 350, 340, 350 plus, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Nobody did it like this, so they run it, they asking me. If I can slow it down, cause it's coming too fast for me. Very content with that so 340 is my max basically starting to prep and I know it's gonna only go down from here by the end of prep if I'm benching 315 I'll be very like impressed very happy with that but yeah that's where it's at right now don't know if I do a squat max yet probably not but yeah cool with it so I'm finna hop into the rest of this workout All right, so now that we did a decent little chest workout, we hit bench, seated cable fly, and then a little seated incline press thing. So now we're gonna get into a back workout. We're gonna warm up our lats with assisted pull-ups. Probably gonna go like three, four sets, 10, something like that. Just something to get warm, and then hop into some lat pulls and maybe some rows, so yeah. You gotta slow it down, girl, you moving too fast for me. Nobody did it like this, so they wonder, they asking me. If I can slow it down, cause it's coming too fast for me. I came up from the bottom. Okay, three sets of ten sound about right, but uh, sometimes I like the assisted opposed to like body weight pull ups because I feel like to an extent you get more of a squeeze at the top, especially when you fatigue. Maybe not right at the beginning of a back workout, but like when you get fatigued, at least me, I can't get that full squeeze, that full contraction that I really want on just body weight shit, so I fuck with them heavy. All right, so now that we got, now that we've warmed up with the pull-ups, I'm gonna hop on this machine. It's a little lap pull-down variation. 
but for this i'm gonna really really focus on squeezing so like on the eccentric part of the motion like when it's coming up i'm gonna kind of not resist it but just really let really let my lats feel the tension in it so i'll show y'all what that looks like stretching your last when you do that and then um but yeah i like that <laughs> this is as much pump as you get with 25 plus percent body fat <laughs> so like when, when i'm coming down i'm rotating my wrist oh you're leaning back with it yeah just a oh, little bit just a little bit though. like really like when you're coming up let the weight kind of pull you up i remember, I remember in florida you told me that uh, what it was Oh yeah, yeah. Really getting that yeah. work. Yeah. Hey bro, you know that video he took of us when I was playing the piano? Yeah. Oh, you oh, took a video video? Yes, you bro. You told me to delete it. Remember when like we stopped dancing? Oh shit. That makes you weak every time. <laughs> 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 I forgot about that, bro. I forgot. <laughs> so fun, bro. Yeah, you did not like that I posted that. <laughs> Not going. He'd be on the, he would be on the same shit. Huh? You'd be on the same shit. I mean, probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> but yeah, when I'm so like when I'm when I'm pulling down, I'm rotating my wrist like this, and then letting it come back up in like a neutral position. I guess. And with that way, that way, you get a lot more of a range of motion because opposed to pulling down like this, you can only go so far. But when you pull down and turn your wrist, you can get way more of a contraction. So yeah, there's a little there's a little tip for the day. That's all I got for y'all, so don't uh, I ain't got too many tips. Take them when you can. You said what? If this thing is gonna fuck there it goes. Alright, so it is March 20th. March 22nd, day eight of my cut. And I just got done crushing a back workout. Silly ass workout. Actually, it was the first workout on my plan that I got from my coach, so it's definitely nice to get the ball rolling but yeah so i just killed my back so this is the time that i really like to practice my posing so with prepping for a men's physique competition i feel like a lot of people might not realize the level of importance that your posing plays in really the entire competition you can go out there and be the leanest the most shredded have the most muscle but if you don't know how to present it properly, if you don't have great stage presence, a lot of that hard work can be for damn near nothing. So that's one thing I kind of messed up on with my first competition was I definitely underprepared posing wise. And it was something that like I struggled with it the entire time. I wasn't really sure what I was doing. And I think because I wasn't sure what I was doing, I kind of just brushed it off to the side way more than I could have. And I think I would have honestly placed higher um, than I did if I really took posing serious. So this time around, I'm posing every single day. Every day. So I really want to get this shit down. Really, I just figured out kind of a rough routine of what I got. And so keep in mind, this is very rough. but. I finally got something down that I can work with and my coach and I can kind of critique to get to a point where it looks really good on stage. So I just killed my back, like I just said, and I really like to pose right after I work out. That's the best time for me because I can feel my muscles a lot more. I can feel what I'm doing with my body a little bit more than when if I just, it was some random point throughout the day. So I'm gonna show you guys roughly what I got down right now. Keep in mind, this is very rough and it will get better. I got my mirror, got my mirror down. I uh, actually took it from my bathroom because my bathroom is not big enough for me to be in there posing and shit. So, so keep in mind, this is rough. This might not look too good. It probably doesn't look too good, but I'm gonna work on it. So 
basically what you do is you want to from my understanding I need to walk out address the crowd by kind of having my arm up waving and I'm really focusing on keeping my abs tight and consistent the whole time so that's one of the biggest things that struggle for me I don't really know what to do with my abs but here it is So, like I said, that's really rough, but that's kind of the gist of it. It's like, come out, address the audience, the crowd, whatever. Um, front pose, which is, sorry, I guess kind of just walking through it. So, here's what I have for my front pose right now. And with the front pose, what I'm trying to do is, is create the illusion that my waist is tiny. So that's why I have my, my abs, as tight as I can right now. And then I'm spreading my lats to try to create that V taper, so. And then, so I go from that, hold that for maybe like three seconds. Don't wanna hold it too long, cause if I, can, if I hold it too long, that's gonna give the judges time to see all the, the negative parts of my physique. So, front pose. And then I'm going into my side pose. And that's, I'm trying to really show my back. And with what you're doing on the side pose is, I wanted to choose my best side. So personally, I think my the right, my right, a little. Personally, I think my right lat is better. And I also kind of wanted to show off my tricep because I think that's definitely a strong point of mine. So I'm gonna hit him with one of these. And I kind of want to flex slow because I feel like, it, I don't know, it, to me, it looks better than me just, I like. And then I transition to my back pose, which same concept as the front. It's just, you can see all the muscles in the back, so. And the thing with the back pose is, you wanna, you still wanna keep that real skinny waist, so I, have my, I wanna have my core engaged. I'm trying to spread my lats as wide as possible. And the icing on the cake is if you can lean back, it creates the illusion that your waist is even skinnier than what it is. So let me show you like the difference of not lean back and lean back. First of all, this is lean back. And then this, which doesn't really look as good, is not lean back. Leaner back just kind of, you know, gives that illusion that your waist is tinier than what it is. So just one more thing. I actually got a show date today. It's nice to have a date in my head, a day to look forward to, especially as these days get a lot tougher with being hungry, being low on energy, um, just being fatigued all the time. It's nice to know, I guess, uh, when this is gonna end. But I'm not really thinking about the end right now. I'm just following the process as it goes. And right now I'm having a great time. I'm not, I haven't gotten to the point where I have low energy levels or anything like that. But uh, June 20th is the show date. And that really kind of caught me off guard because I was definitely expecting it to be in July. And at this point, so that means that I'm 13 weeks out right now, which is not a lot of time. My first competition prep was 16 weeks. Granted, I have a little bit of experience under my belt now and I'm a little bit leaner than I was starting prep two years ago, but I'm ready to crush it, I'm ready to kill it. I think I'm gonna be plenty lean enough. I think I'm gonna be plenty prepared. Um, I actually, honestly, I think the 13, 14 week time frame that I'm doing this in is perfect for me and what my physique currently looks like. But yeah, so got my plan today, got my uh, macros, my nutrition, did the first workout with my plan, which was a back, bicep, rear delt kind of day. And I'm definitely uh, happy with how things are going so far. So, shit, I've been saying that I haven't been uh, too hungry, but as I'm saying that, I'm getting pretty hungry and I feel like I'm not making any sense right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my last meal of the night, enjoy that, and 
do a couple things I got to get done and wake up ready to crush tomorrow. So thank you so much for watching. So, so much. So much. Thank you.